Hello. I know you. I saw you standing out. I know her. Do you want to take it out how are you? I love your work, Carl. I'm really good. I'm excited to see your bilingual rom-com. Well, it's been out for a while. So I haven't seen it. Haven't, well, how come you haven't been? You don't speak Spanish. Uh, <laughs> but guess what? It's got subtitles. Oh, good, good. So, do you think that um, having those type of uh, rom-coms is important in this age of like more racism and more like differences and otherness? Yeah, well, actually, um, my, I mean, I play the character, but the lead is an immigrant. She's a Latina immigrant. She's an OBGYN. So you barely see Latinas in positions where they're given a job that, you know, paid well and that's highly, uh, that you need to be highly educated to do. And also, we don't mention her immigration status. So again, we're just telling the um, everyday life of an immigrant without mentioning that. Normal seat, um, rather yeah. than like, yeah. So, um, I mean, Viola Davis said it beautifully at the Oscars, talking about how, you know, sometimes we just want our average lives to be up front and center. And there's not one Latino being nominated for their work on screen at the Oscars. So, that's embarrassing. Um, yeah. So, hopefully we'll be able to change that, but one movie at a time, even if it takes me one movie at a time. Do you think we're, we're more progressive in terms of arts? Maybe not in terms of, like, political stuff, but, like... With your rom-com and that sort of stuff, maybe that wasn't possible 10 years ago. Oh, for sure that wasn't possible. They didn't actually want to even produce this movie because they said, I'm quoting, it's too intelligent for the Latin audiences. That's what they told me when they wanted to, they they wanted to make Who's they? The distributors, the, the studios, you know, they're not... That's why you don't see a lot of uh, these type of movies out there. Yeah. Um, so, yes, I do think that art... Um, is very aggressive in a way that politics can be. That's why we have such a responsibility as artists to put it out there. And I'm so glad that something like Moonlight, you know, hopefully the Latin Moonlights will be out there next year. Do you think cinema like this can make a real difference in society? Well, because Hollywood's not representative of what's going on in middle America, right? All the celebrities came out and said, don't vote for Trump, and then everyone did. Yeah. So, do you think a movie like this can actually change people's opinions who otherwise would have been against this sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, I think something like Moonlight, even if it was just a one point five million dollar movie, it gives empathy to a story of an African American who, um, who happens to be gay and yeah. is struggling. It's the happens to be, isn't it? It happens to be, yeah. Um, and I know that people, I think it's so important that it won because now more people are going to see it. And I think through cinema we can reach empathy, which as Meryl Streep said, is the key to putting yourself in the shoes and really fighting for other people. Totally. What do you think we would see, like, maybe a Latino with a white hat? Is that something within our reach? Um, yeah, I, I would. I don't think it's going to happen very soon. I think we first have to get to Hollywood, and then we can get to the White House. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're in Hollywood enough yet for us to be able to be representative politically. Um, but again, like I said, I'll, I'll keep trying to make that, that happen. Last thing, what, what's going to happen first? Uh, a woman as president or a Latino as president? Uh, definitely a woman as president, I think. You think Oprah has a chance? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, Oprah. Yeah, Oprah yeah I chance? saw that today. I hope she does. <laughs> Are you me? I want to, um, yeah, I definitely would love to see Oprah because she's been able to um, inspire a lot of people with what she does and she knows, um, yeah, she knows the power of storytelling and I think that, um, the power of empathy and the power of representing the unrepresented. So I think she would make a great president. But America's too racist and sexist for that to happen soon, right? Um. Sorry, these are big questions. <laughs> <laughs> these are big questions for me on the street. <laughs> um, yeah, I still have hope. I luckily still have hope. Um, I have hope in, in, in human. Um, in human empathy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so hopefully uh, there'll be less hate speech and, and the stories we tell will bring us together rather than divide us. Thank you so much, Carl. So really appreciate it. Cheers. A movie with subtitles because that doesn't that get rid of a lot of your audience who just doesn't want to go to the movies and read? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why it's, a, it's, a, it's such a hard um, movie to bring. 
but even if it's not commercial, I don't only go for the commercialness of it because there's millions of people that live the reality of jumping in from Spanish to English every day. Yeah. And having them at the box office and going to see a movie where they're represented is something that I wanted to do and I wanted people to be seen in the Latin community and feel like they're being seen. So, um, yes, a lot of people don't go, but luckily we've had great reviews. Rotten Tomatoes gave us a 92. That's awesome. Gracias. Hey, hey, Carla, can you tell us um, what's gonna happen next and how to how to get away with murder? Cause give us well, a sneak peek. Well, it's gonna be season four, but yeah. uh, we last saw that it's Laurel that she's to blame for Wes's death. So I know I'm gonna have to do a lot of acting next season. It's <laughs> gonna be insane. Love Big your fan. work, love. Great. Yeah. Great. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you so much. All right, thanks, thanks. Carla. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm MC Ganey. If you'd like to get my autograph or hundreds of other celebrities, go to Fan Mail Direct and use the secret code MCG. You'll get a discount and you'll get some lovely autographs for some lovely people. Have a nice